Hallelujah. Amen. It is good to see you in the Lord's house tonight. Glad you braved all the rain and the pandemic to be here this evening for another night of, of revival. It is hard for me to believe that it's almost over. Amen. That this will be the last night. Isn't that awful? That's yeah. terrible. I remember standing here Sunday welcoming everybody and saying we're going to have a wonderful uh, few days of uh, revival, a few services. We're going to kind of test the waters and see how things are, are going and how people feel about getting back together. Something we have really missed in the body of Christ is praying in the altar getting together. So we have encouraged everybody to wear a mask and socially distance as much as you can. Uh, but we want to get back to at least touching each other, laying hands on each other. A few weeks ago we, we laid some prayer cloths out on the, on the communion table here. Brother Cherry came down and we anointed several of them with oil. I think we had about seven of them on the front right there. For those that would want to come down to the altar and get a prayer cloth or maybe a prayer, prayer need that they had in their family or in their career or in their finances or even in their own body. When we finished, we'd given out 35 prayer cloths. Prayer cloths. Now, not just pray for people, but prayer cloths to reach out to those that were, to reach out to those who, that were hurting. That's something we used to do a lot. I don't do it a lot in the church anymore. Uh, but I'm glad that we still believe in a God that can reach out and minister to people that are hurting. Amen. We had a, a tremendous service uh, last night. I thought as I, in my devotion today, I just happened to be reading in Isaiah chapter, chapter 12, verse 6. Where the Bible says, Cry aloud and shout for joy. O inhabitant of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Cry aloud and shout for joy, O inhabitant of Israel, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Great in our midst is the Holy One of Israel. Is He great here tonight? Yes. Is He great in our midst? Say that with me. Great in our midst yes. is the Holy One of Israel. One more time. Great in our midst is the Holy One of Israel. Would you stand please? We're going to begin with some old hymns. This old chorus is in the church that we sing during Bible time. Just kind of warm it up in here and let the Lord begin to really bless you.
a little baby that came on a starry night to a little village in the middle of nowhere that was wrapped in stable cloth and laid in a feed trough because there was no room for him in the end. That little baby grew up. That little baby started working miracles. That little, that little, that little baby stirred up, stirred up some mess all around him. That little baby drug an old rugged cross to the top of an old hill, old castle. Laid down, having the face down there, and was put into a didn't even have the money, didn't even have the resources for his own for his own burial place. And the Bible says that, 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 that there was a man in the congregation that said, you can have mine. He didn't realize he didn't really need to have it. He just needed to borrow it for about three days. And on the third morning,
Uh, they're from the Lake Harvest Church of God. Uh, Brother Ryan Shipman is their minister of music uh, there at Lake Harvest. And the pastor is here as well. Brother Matt Lewis, would you stand please? Would you have a word for the Lord tonight? Brother Matt, we're glad to have you with us, brother. We're just thankful to be with like-minded people of God. We just want to get in here and praise God with you. And my prayer is that God and the Holy Ghost tires the place up. I love for people to be able to dwell in the Spirit of God together and get what we need to have from Him. Amen. Amen. Bless you, brother. Bless you. God is doing great things there at Lake Harvest. We hear, we hear nothing but good reports. And we praise the Lord for the way that He is, he is blessing uh, that sister church of ours as well. We have some special music tonight from them. They're going to be doing three songs. And then Michael and Angela are going to be singing before the evangelist comes. But we're, we're just praising the Lord. Uh, recently, I had an opportunity to catch um, this church, their worship experience, on YouTube somewhere. And uh, as I was thumbing through there, I saw this church. And I lit on that. My, they had wonderful music. They had great, uh, a great spirit, a great anointing. The pastor got up and preached and preached, and I'm telling you, he was really mediocre. <laughs> no, he was he was really good. First time. He, one thing about the pandemic that's really helped us, brother, as we get to hear each other. You know, whereas you know, we, we both work the same shift. So it's hard for us to be able to be in each other's services, but I had an opportunity to hear the heart of this pastor, and I, and I felt like when we have this revival, I need to I need to invite these folks to come in and to share with us what the Lord is doing uh, there. And we're just so thankful that they have uh, accepted our invitation. And they are here, brother Dale Ridinger is here. Dale and I go back one, two, three, four, several years. I won't embarrass either of us, you know. But uh, it's good to see you, brother Ridinger is here and minister of the gospel, and then and then we have. Uh, Brother Richard Britt is here. Richard and I go way back, don't we, Brother Richard? Way back. Bless you. Brother Dale, would you have a word for the Lord tonight? Since you're, we, we'd love that. You know, in this pandemic, a lot of people are saying we can't reach out to the lost, we can't visit. But I want to tell you, last night, I thank God for this. My wife's had a friend that's going in for surgery. I called her last night, led her to the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Miles and miles 
same old voice, hear the same old lie. Oh, and if you're trying to feel the same old pulse inside, there's a better life. There's a better life. He's got pain. He's a pain taker.
So I will stand up and fight for my freedom. And I will stand up and take what belongs to me. And I will worship in my situation. And I will lift my hands, I lift my voice, declare.
God continue to bless Eastway Church and all the other churches here tonight. And God, we're going to ever give you the praise and the honor and the glory as we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We're going to ask these singers if they will just step back a little bit. Michael and Angela are coming at this time. And then the uh, Lake Harvest singers are going to be coming back for, uh, for another song. Uh, that, I'll take responsibility for that. <laughs> I'm the pastor here. <laughs> My fault. <laughs> Amen. Did you see how they moved when I spoke? <laughs> That's an authority, bro. That's an authority. No. No. We're, uh, we're, we're glad to have a very special... Uh, two very special people in our congregation that are coming. And in just a moment, you're going to know what I'm talking about. Brother Michael and Sister Angela are going to be singing a very special song. And then Lake Harvest is going to be coming back with a final number. And then our evangelists will be coming. God bless you. You know, the, the problem, the, I think the only problem, when you have revivals like this, is that so many people come from all across the state and when you grew up fifth generation Church of God, like I did, some stories get told on you. Now, Brother Carter almost got himself in trouble last night. So I'm not talking about people seeing me naked. But um, Brother Britt, who spoke earlier about my aunt and my mom, was actually there when I preached my first sermon. Last time I talked to him, he told me he still had that piece of bread. Um, but uh, our families have known each other a long time and a, and a long way. But it's great to be with family and to be all together, especially with Holy Ghost like minded people. I won't talk anymore. Go ahead.
come to live within the hearts of men. Oh, 
voices heard. Voice of God, he said, lift up your hands. Well, he grew tired and weary. Two men stood by his side. And they won the victory that day with their hands toward the sky. The left back to praise God's victory.
God bless you. God bless you.